Hi Libra, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 31st of August till the 6th of September. I'm using the Pagan Ways and I'm using the Tarot of the Kingdoms and the Avalonian deck. And your first card is, well, let me say welcome and thank you very much for liking and sharing all the readings that you watch. And remember, refresh your button, um, the bell, on all, because there have been some issues that people are not getting notified, and that's because um, they have not put the bell on all. Okay, and have a look at your settings um, that you have allowed YouTube uh, permission to notify you with regards to the channels that you follow. Okay, your first card is the Queen of Wands and she's a determined lady she knows what she wants and she goes for it she takes action and she's creative about it and you might be meeting up with a friend that is um, a Leo but don't forget Sagittarius or uh, Aries they're powerful ladies they're also well read usually and they they can be fiery but they are very direct and they know what they want and they go for it and if you're not meeting up with a lady the queen of wands um, then it could be you that's taking a page out of their book this week perhaps there is something that you desperately want and you're going to take action and you're passionate about it or there might be passion with this lady if you're a man or a lady that likes ladies okay it doesn't matter what you are who you are um, so long you when you love somebody that you're honest true and loyal then we have it looks like um, the coach of Cinderella and a fairy is in it with a magical wand it seems that something magical is about to appear look at that wand and something is going to become clear to you okay now the cards aren't discriminative they're not discriminating they're not racist so this could be a man that has a feminine side to it and that is very direct and nurturing okay now this could be uh, you Leo that's um, getting hooked up if you're not hooked up with a, a um, a Leo or with the Queen of Air and the Queen of Air is Libra and so <laughs> it could be you hooking up but you could also be hooking up with the same sign as the Queen of Air is Libra but don't forget Gemini or Aquarius they're also direct they want clarity they stand for justice they stand for honesty and loyalty both of them do especially the fire signs because they once you have stolen the heart of a fire sign there's no letting go otherwise you'll be burned so know your boundaries with both of these ladies they're very strong and independent ladies the air signs if, if you're getting a Gemini then they've got a sense of humor but they they are so flexible they're doing two three things at the same time you'll have to know their boundaries like I said otherwise you'll get cut you'll have to learn to cope because Libra you do sometimes stagnate although you're a dual sign like the Gemini and like Pisces you do procrastinate you're always weighing off and sometimes that can agitate the Gemini okay that taking that time because they're swift and so is Aries but you can really converse with them and with the fire sign because they're highly intelligent they use their logic their mind this is the logic logical type and this is the always thinking 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 okay so you could be doing that as well you might be stuck in your head so you know what resonates with you okay well enjoy that because this lady will help you and so will this lady because they believe in what they want and truth and justice okay they will fight until death for you they're loyal trustworthy and 
Um, you might not understand them, but they are loyal and faithful. When they fall in love, they fall in love with hook, line and sinker. There's no BS with those two. Okay, you've got the moon, so you're in the spotlight. There might be a Gemini or an, a Leo that has an eye on you, and you don't know about it. So test the waters, I would say. You can, <laughs> you've got water here. You haven't got the path. You've got water, and you've got a pathway. You've got a definitely a new beginning because the angels have created the two pillars of the new entry to the unknown, another world. The moon hides also things because it's on, on the other side it's dark, so it doesn't show the light. But on this side it shows the light to the path and other lands. Listen to your intuition and your new ideas. Open your mind to new ideas. Especially when you're talking to a Gemini, and other air sign. You know all about it. Get the truth out. Do the research. Okay. And again, you have fire here. You have the ace of fire. Like I said, don't just bank on the Leo. It can be an Aries, but it can also be a Sagittarius. And you've got the ace of fire. There's a lot of passion. A lot of passion if you are teaming up with a, a fire sign then know your boundaries show them and let them know your boundaries okay converse converse get it clear what you want because passion doesn't last and love does so if you want an everlasting relationship then know your boundaries talk about it don't hide your fears now we've got you here as well. Again, we have the scales, and that is justice. Justice will be done, and it, things will be balancing out if you do talk to these signs. Okay? Know what you want, and know what they want. The angels are, sh again, a feather, are showing you a sign. They will be there to help you, especially Archangel Michael, as he stands for the throat. And protection and clarity okay say what you are going to do and do what you're going to say don't back out be straightforward especially with the air signs you know that you want clarity as well because you stand for justice you are the card of justice so respect that and be that Wow this is more like a romance reading than an, uh, uh, a work reading or a home life reading, but there are new beginnings. Definitely action and passion. And you've got the fool here. Something might not be clear all the way clear to you. No, you might not know each other and you have to get to know each other and how to go around with, with each other and balance things up so there is no burning or cutting. Okay. You've got the fool here, and the fool means also take that leap of faith. Take that leap of faith. Be as strong as a bear. Although it's a little bear, just pondering, looking down. Get another bird, get another perspective. Okay? Don't just go by what people say or what zodiac signs say. Get to know the real person, the inside of a person. Never judge a book by its cover. Read the story first then judge okay beautiful then you have the princess of swords there might be a young person that's coming to bring you news the news will arrive most probably through cyber text message telephone call or an email again th this is Aquarius so Gemini and Aquarius and Libra are here Aquarius and Libra are here separately. The Queen is also Libra, but don't exclude Gemini. You have the, something will become clear to you this week, that's for sure, because you might be uh, dealing with somebody that um, is secretive. You've got the Seven of Swords here. Now, somebody might be coming out of the cocoon. Something might be said and come out into the open. 
clarification, clarification. Justice, justice will be done. If you've had a quarrel with a fire sign or an other air sign, then something will become clear. There is a, a feeling of transformation. Okay? The Seven of Swords means that somebody might have left you and they didn't want the confrontation unexpectedly and left you with a sore heart. You don't want something like that to repeat itself. So learn from the past. If it is the same person that's coming back, then talk if you want to. But remember, a fox sheds his hair, hair a fur, but never his tricks. Okay, so think about it. Be clear about it, what you want. Something is coming full circle because you've got the wheel of fortune and ten, an ending, a new beginning. So there could be a new beginning, okay? Especially if somebody's been deceitful and they're coming out with it now. Because I look at this like a cocoon. Somebody's coming out. Okay, something is coming out. Could be news. Okay, somebody might have been doing something behind your back, like getting an engagement ring and you didn't know about it. That is sneaky, but it is good sneaky. You've got good and bad. Now, the Wheel of Fortune, you might take up, if you're not, if you haven't split up with anybody and nobody's coming back, then you might be going up to the next level in your relationship. This also means a next level in your work your career so there could be a promotion or you might be getting noticed now by your clients and you're getting more clients you might be moving in with a partner you might be moving home with a partner or buying a house you could be going on holiday this is also the karma card like the world if somebody's done you wrong they will get it back threefold if they've done you good they will get it back threefold the same for you so be it. Namaste. That is the overall energy. Beautiful. Something will become clear to you. Justice will be done if somebody's done you wrong. They will get their due. So will you. You will get what you deserve. Okay? So that is a very direct, very short. But it could be money. It could be something material because we've got the material card here as well. The, this is the tree of life carved into a stone okay and there's a rose bush growing alongside it now this is the Avalonian deck and it's a bit a Gaelic uh, um, Celtic idea like down to earth okay so standing stone tapers upright evoking the form of the center central of a uh, crystal ray of the owen symbol a stylized image of the celtic tree of life is carved into the face of the stone representing the realm of the land and the wild rose bush arises from the base of the myrrh the material world the physical plane survival so survive by communicating with others and not arguing you are the phoenix rising from the ashes a new beginning believe it take that leap okay manifestation of abundance this also means abundance yes you might get some uh, you might get something material back like i said or a promotion justice will be done if somebody's stolen from you it will be returned to you by the looks of it in these cards you have been manifesting visualizing and wishing for this okay seven is a good luck number after all so don't let anybody talk you down Pay attention to the present moment and all that has been made manifested in your life. Ensure that your needs are met. Okay? Like I said, know your boundaries and let others know your boundaries. Especially when it comes to health and physical environment. And that's the earthly thing. Something that's durable. 
If you're not happy with somebody, tell them, but don't you don't have to argue about it. Alright. So stand your ground, strong as the pillar of life, the tree of life. Okay. Good luck with that. It definitely you are the phoenix that's rising from the ashes. There's something new. Something big is going to happen this week. Okay. And don't shy away to ask for help from others, even if it's an institution or a municipality. Okay? Because th you've got swords here, air there, air there. So just in, you've got the justice card. So something will become clear. Some a wrong will be uh, rightened. Okay. Lovely reading. Take care. Be blessed and stay safe. Please share and like. Thank you.